Hey everybody, it's Jesse here, truth be told, truth be known. This is truth be told on the road. <laughs> a little bit of random thought for you. Um, well, of course with all the stuff going on, rumors of war and everything, um, and uh, a lot of this uh, thinking that we uh, are going to get an easy ticket out of here. And uh, this whole preparing thing and the uh, super duper love for your family, which I'm not saying you're not supposed to love your kids, I'm not saying you're supposed to love your parents. But when it comes down to it, man, the uh, scriptures say that uh, brother will betray brother and mother, daughter, daughter, mother. And then uh, talks about the tares and the wheat. And, um, and it means what it says. So, so what does it actually mean with uh, the tares and the wheat? Well, the thing is, as we get closer and closer to the uh, stuff hitting the fan, um, we have to realize that uh, that there is tares among the wheat. And that's just the bottom line. That's just the bottom truth, folks. So who do you really fully put your trust in? You can't put your trust in man. I don't care if they're a son, a daughter, a brother, a sister, a mother, a father. Because there's going to be tears among the wheat. You got people out here... You know, and this is why the church or the or the body is so lukewarm right now. You got people out here, um, basically, thinking that uh, all Christians and stuff like that uh, have love for one another. When when it talks about the fiery darts of the wicked, well. I'm going to tell you right now that some of those fiery darts are coming probably from the people that you sit next to in your pews or people that you hold really dear on YouTube and um, those are the same people that are going to uh, deliver you up. Why? Because there are tares among the wheat. And there's going to come a time when those are going to be separated. And we have to come to terms with that. You know, everyone follows certain people on YouTube and their pastors and their churches. When you simply just stick to the word, man words say trust your heavenly father yeah I know the commandment says honor your father and mother and you know and, and, and we should do that definitely I mean it's part of the commandments but we cannot put that love over the love we are supposed to have with uh, Yahweh just can't do it because again, it's going to be those same people that you hold dear that could actually very well end up being um, a tear. And in your household, you might actually have a tear sitting right next to you. You don't know. You could say, oh, I know this person will never do that. Do you? You, you don't know that. You don't know a person's heart. You don't know a person's thoughts. You don't know if they hold their life so dear that they want to spare it instead of risking their life for another. You don't know that. And that's the terms we have to come to face. And I and 
sooner or later, that's going to come to its full. So, that's just my random thought for the day, guys. And, uh, you got to keep that in mind, that there are tears among the brethren. There are tears among the weak. And those tears could be one of your closest relatives, your closest friends, your closest Christian brethren. And why is that? Very simply, because we are lukewarm. We are a lukewarm body right now. Even though, wanna, even though people want to claim the Church of Philadelphia and whatnot and all that kind of stuff. The point is, is that we need to stop concentrating on when we're going to be getting out of here. And we need to start focusing on ourselves. And I see that a lot. You know, I, I, I see that more often than not. Forget about... Uh, the whole pre-trip stuff, mid-trip, post-trip and work out your own salvation because that's what it's about forget about it don't worry about it what you need to worry about is you no one else you need to worry about your own salvation and you need to worry about winning souls you need to worry about spreading the gospel you know, that's what it all comes down to. Again, as I stated before, theories are just theories. And beliefs are beliefs. And the rapture is a belief. It is not salvation. Regardless of what viewpoint you stand by. And I see a lot of people, mainly on the internet community, that, uh, so fixed on the whole catching away thing that I I hear no message of salvation in it. So and remember that the ones who who might seem or who claim to seem upright, so very loving and everything, which is why there are some people out there that say don't put your trust in man, don't follow man. And that is so true. No, don't listen. Don't follow me. Don't follow anybody. Stick to your word. Stick to your heavenly Father. Talk to him. That's who you follow, folks. And don't don't worry about, you know, when you're going to be getting out of here or whatever. Okay? There's been people suffering persecutions and stuff for thousands of years. Thousands of years. Look at the Reformation age. Okay? I'm pretty sure they weren't really worried about an imminent rapture. But what they were more concerned with is if their hearts are right with God. And look at the people in China with these uh, believers getting their heads blown off. Do you think they were worried about getting out here even though they were told about this, you know, that catching away and stuff like that? But it didn't matter to them. What matters is if their hearts were right with God and they weren't going to back down no matter what was in front of them. And they died for their faith. Okay? That's how you need to be and you need to realize that there's tears among the weak. Okay? Alright, truth be told, truth be known. Stay safe. Blessings, everybody. Bye-bye.